Hi guys, welcome to our daily encounter. Yesterday we read about an individual by the name of Shimei, and this individual was cursing David, throwing stones at David, calling him worthless and a man of bloodshed, just really um, being ugly towards David as David and uh, the people connected to him were escaping and running from Absalom. Well, after Absalom dies and the people are, or David is restored again as king, and they're about to bring David back over the Jordan to go back into Judah uh, to become king. Shimei has a change of heart, and he runs uh, out to meet David, meets him there at the Jordan, and pleads for mercy. Uh, it says there uh, in verse 18, it says, Then... Or, yeah, then they kept crossing the ford to bring over the king's household and to do what was good in his sight. And Shimei, the son of Gera, fell down before the king as he was about to cross the Jordan. So he said to the king, Let not my lord consider me guilty, nor remember what your servant did wrong on the day when my lord the king came out from Jerusalem, so that the king would take it to heart. For your servant knows that I have sinned. Therefore, behold, I have come today, the first of all the house of Joseph, to go down to meet my lord, the king. And then, uh, of course, uh, Abishai wanted to have him killed, uh, you know, for uh, what uh, Shimei had done to King David. He, he thought he was worthy of death, but David actually shows him mercy. He says, you know what, I've been restored. Today's not a day for killing people. Uh, no one's going to die. And he shows Shimei some, some mercy and some compassion. And this should encourage us because there might be times in our lives when we do wrong against the Lord. And maybe even sometimes where perhaps we are not at our best. Maybe we sin against the Lord or we do something that is very much unwise and we make a mess of things. And in some cases, maybe... Uh, there might be some who would even curse the Lord and, and, you know, hard times hit and they get angry at God and maybe say some things that they later regret towards God. We need to remember, you know, if David showed this much mercy to Shimei, uh, being an imperfect human being as he was, how much more so can we receive mercy from Jesus uh, in his perfection and in his divinity? If we ever find ourselves in a situation like Shimei, we need to go, run out and meet the king, not run away from the king, ashamed and um, thinking that there's no hope, but run to the king, fall down at the feet of the king, that is King Jesus, and and ask for his forgiveness and, and show that we are sorry for what we've done. We, we recognize that we've sinned. We confess our sin to him. And we can have the guarantee that he will restore us once again and he will show us the love and compassion that really only he can really demonstrate so let's be encouraged by the story uh, uh, in connection to Shimei that here's a man who had done some pretty um, horrible things towards David treated David in a very horrible way but finds forgiveness as he runs to the king, falls down at him and begs and confesses his sin and begs forgiveness. And we can find the same thing through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And he will welcome us with open arms. He will forgive us of our transgressions. He is faithful to uh, cleanse us of all unrighteousness and to restore us once again. But we must turn to him in repentance, in submission, in uh, confession of sins, and then we can be restored. So here's some things we can reflect on and think about as we do our reading today. With that, guys, I do thank you for watching the video today. Hope you guys have a great day. Love you guys. God bless.